Good morning. I'm Dr. Jeff Eggert with Primary Ultrasound, and this morning I wanted to review with you some of the features of the Sonoscape S8 Portable Compact Doppler Ultrasound. This is a remarkable ultrasound, which is a one award for some of its technical advances. It has several uh, particular features which give it unusually good image quality. High density probes up to 512 elements, broadband transducers. It has an advanced software package which rapidly processes the ultrasound beam to give us an excellent quality. It also is a Linux based system, very stable, and it was also optimized to rapidly transfer the images to your, uh, to your data storage system for later analysis. Um, some of the particular features of this ultrasound, if you notice, it has a 15 inch screen and you can see how the picture virtually fills the screen. It, it also has an adjustment so that you can tilt the screen. It has a good keyboard with large uh, keys. It can take two transducers simultaneously. It also has a lithium ion battery. Now that will allow you to operate this particular ultrasound without attaching it to an electrical cord uh, socket for a little bit more than an hour. That's very helpful if you're doing uh, biopsies when there's oxygen present. The Sonoscape S8 is also highly portable, very easy to move from one exam room to another. And there's some advantages to that that aren't always obvious. In the past, ultrasounds were very large. For example, this older console model. This scanner weighs about 300 pounds. It's so large you needed to have a separate room for it. Image quality in some of the earlier machines wasn't always so good and the adjustments were difficult. So usually you would have to have a sonographer. With the newer ultrasounds, image quality is so good that many of the basic ultrasound examinations can be done by the physician themselves. Also, there's a great advantage in maintenance with a portable color Doppler ultrasound. If I were to have problems with this ultrasound, obtaining service is difficult. It's too large to ship it to the manufacturer, so a technician would have to travel to our city to do the repair. No matter what you do, that's going to be very expensive. Whereas with a portable ultrasound unit, like the Sonoscape S8, this one, if I were to have a problem, all I have to do is close the system and FedEx it back to our technician who's highly skilled in repairing and servicing this particular type of ultrasound. Another uh, advance in ultrasonography was the development of the very, very compact ultrasound. I'll show you another example, this one. This was the first portable color Doppler ultrasound that I had, and it took a it had good image quality. There are some compromises that you notice. The screen is small, the keyboard is small. There have been some compromises to keep it compact. It only will take one transducer at a time. The biggest uh, complaint I would have with this ultrasound is I've had some problems with reliability and the cost of repair has been very, very high. Now with the Sonoscape S8, another advantage, of, in addition to the reliability which we see with these you know, advances in computer technology and the Linux system, is that it has a two-year warranty and you can extend that warranty for an additional three years. Manufacturers really tried to keep this affordable. Some cardiologists have told me that it may be less expensive for them to buy a new S8 ultrasound than it is to pay the maintenance fees on an older console unit. What I really wanted to show you this morning is just how easy this Sonoscape S8 is to use. For example, if a patient came to your office and they were in their 50s and they were concerned about atherosclerosis, we can measure that process by just looking in their carotid artery. I'll show you how. Now, what I've done is, this is a B-mode image of the carotid, and in the uh, upper part
part of the carotid artery where it bifurcates into the internal and external carotid. There's an increase in turbulence, and that's where plaque would first form in the carotid bulb. We also can measure atherosclerosis as wall thickening immediately prior to the bulb. That's termed the carotid IMT, and we can measure that. For example, that's 1.16 millimeters. That's thicker than in most men my age. So I have greater risk of coronary disease and, uh, than the typical man. It also raises the question, how are my coronary arteries? And I may want to do some other studies. Um, in fact, what you're thinking about, we're not just measuring risk factors here. We're actually measuring the early disease when you do a carotid IMT. We've actually scanned um, the entire uh, emergency department and the uh, firemen of our community, there were 48 men and we found carotid plaque in, in really quite a few of them. We've also used some of the same technology in screening our local dental society. The next thing you may want to do is look at, use color flow imaging to look at the blood flow. And that's what you can see here on the monitor. We find this particularly effective with patients. We always have a secondary monitor in the room. And when there's plaque present in the carotid system, as they see the blood flow over the plaque, it really has a great impact on the patient's motivation to really improve their risk factors. We then can also look at wave analysis. see the spectral wave analysis on using the uh, Doppler. Um, this would be a carotid duplex examination. Another thing about this is uh, several cardiologists have told me that they didn't really appreciate how important it was to screen the carotid system in their cardiac patients. And many of them find this is a, a good source of revenue in their practice and also helps them to improve care. You could use the same Sonoscape S8 also to screen for peripheral arterial disease. If you're a cardiologist, you can use the Sonoscape S8 to do stress echoes, and many practices are beginning to do more and more stress echoes because of the increased cost and the poor compensation now for doing nuclear scans. It also can do transesophageal echo, both adult and pediatric. This is a fabulous ultrasound, very, very high tech, wonderful imaging quality, reliable, good warranty, if you have more questions about some of its technical features, we'll be glad to talk with you about those. Just give us a call at Primary Ultrasound, and our number is 843-421-2164. We'll be glad to do anything we can to help you add a wonderful ultrasound, such as the Sonoscape S8, to your practice. Thank you.